Oh my gosh, you guys. I think I'm actually excited for this series. Hello everyone, my name is Hector. This is Everything Horror, where we like to talk about everything horror. Today, we are going to talk about the new Creep Show TV series that just came out on Shudder. It came out today, September 26, 2019, and uh, they released one episode. Now, if you don't know, uh, this Creep Show show, Creep Show show, has Greg Nicotero as the showrunner. You might know him from Walking Dead. Um, he's done special effects for tons of movies. Uh, he has a bunch of credits. Uh, he is one of the best in special effects, especially horror and gore effects. And uh, that'll definitely come in handy for this show. Now this first episode brings the stars. We have Tobin Bell. We have Adrian Barbeau. We have Giancarlo Esposito. Uh, you might know him from Breaking Bad. Uh, so there's some pretty big stars in this first episode, uh, especially in the first segment, which has all three of them in there. It has two segments, Grey Matter and House of the Head. Now, when I get into these segments, I don't want to get into spoilers. Uh, I want people to really check out this show. I very much recommend it. Now, Grey Matter is about Tobin and Giancarlo looking for this uh, young boy's father. They're trying to locate him. His father seems to be sick, uh, so they want to find out what's going on with him. And it ends up leading them into a nightmare. Now, although I could see where this episode was going, or the segment was going, um, I very much enjoyed it, especially the creature effects. The creature effects in this episode are awesome. I really like what Tobin and Giancarlo brought into the episode. I wish I could have seen more from them, and that's kind of hard to do, especially with these segments being around like 20 minutes each. Adrian Barbeau is really good. You see a lot of her in this episode. Um, I really like that. Um, I really like that they brought her back from the original. Um, she was in my favorite segment, The Crate. I love that segment in cr the first Creep Show. It's so awesome, and they actually. Uh, pay some homage to that segment in the beginning of this episode uh, with the creeper that's uh, also, also another positive the creeper looks amazing but yeah they they yeah, they paid homage to the crate with having the actual crate there with filled with the comics overall I really like gray I can't wait to see what they have at Halloween Horror Nights they're gonna have that segment as a room in the haunted house so I can't wait to see what that looks like. Now the next segment was House of the Head, which I actually really liked. I didn't know what they were going to go with this one, unlike Grey Matter. Uh, this one was uh, something I hadn't really even seen before. I've seen in shows or movies tackle, you know, the, the creepy dollhouse type of trope. But this one actually paid off. I really liked what they did with it. Um, this segment is about uh, a young girl who uh, has a dollhouse, um, but and then she realizes there's something in her dollhouse that shouldn't be there. I thought it was, this was a really creepy segment. There are some eerie scenes, and who would have known you'd feel bad for dolls? <laughs> But yeah, the vignettes that they had to move along the stories I really liked. Really gives you nostalgia for, you know, the original creep shows. And I, I actually can't wait to see what they have in store. What would have really made it come for circle would be the lighting. The original creep show has that awesome lighting. Uh, they have those parts where, you know, it turns into a deep red or a green. Um, that's the only thing this show was missing. Um, but you never know, they might bring that along uh, in the further episodes. But yeah, what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to review each episode. I'm going to review it as a whole uh, once the last episode comes out. 
overall, I think this is a very strong start to the series. I can't wait to see what they have in store later on in the season. Um, they're going to release each episode uh, among the coming weeks. And we can only hope that it gets better and better. Anyways, what did you guys think? I want to know what you thought down in the comments below. Uh, let me know what your favorite segment is so far. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Anyways, my name is Hector. This is Everything Horror. Take care, peeps.